perfect. Let's close. Up. Now, let's clean up the points here. Contact points. Yep. And they're nice and flat. Almost perfectly flat. A little wobble, but yeah. That will do. That will do. Just the contact points. I see on there. Not too much, not too little. Yep. Just uh, grease up the, the friction points, nothing else. Else you have the probability that your grease starts flying everywhere. And if you need to brake and there's grease on there, well, obviously it doesn't work as well as you would think. Yep, a little bit over here. And a little bit over there. And we're good to go. So the one with the sensor goes in the back. The one over here. Just put in like this. Uh, kind of a, an angle, 45 degree angle. Push it down. It's in there. These, these ones are the most easy brake pads ever. Very good system. Yep, the other one, same story, 45 degree angle and push it down and look at that, looking nice. Now we have the sensor uh, wire here, gonna put the brake caliper back on the caliper holder and since we took something off the brake pads it should be rather easy to uh, slide it in but there's a new um, yeah, new brake disc on there so you might need to uh, press it in a bit yeah that's what we're gonna do Put it back just nuts <laughs> just not doing take out your brake caliper tool and gently push it back oh how convenient just fits also a good way to uh check out if your brake caliper is going bad if it's too hard to push in, you might have a, a problem. As a matter of fact, you will have a problem. This should be smooth with well, not too much force. Just like, like this, actually. This is perfect. So, 
that will be another I think. Turn it back. Hopla. Don't forget your uh, hanging tool. Remove it. I once forgot it, and guy saw that uh, the technical uh, uh, inspection. And uh, yeah, pretty embarrassing. So that's good. Yep, looking good. Put the bolts back in. 13 millimeter heads. Yep. Tighten them nice, nice, nice and tight. Yes. Oh, I'll use the hand to 17 millimeter range on there. Yep. Yep. Tight. The other one. Sensor back in place. There we go. There we go. Eight millimeter uh, sockets. Yep. Then we're going to tighten uh, the barrel. Now it's pretty easy also. Shouldn't be tight. But it shouldn't move too much. If you're too tight, if you get it too tight, it will uh, burn out pretty fast. And up, this one goes in smoothly. Yep, look, nice action with the grease inside, uh, new grease inside um, the sliders, gliders. Up. Yeah, this will be good. Some dirt, nothing to worry about. Now we put on the wheel and we'll uh, adjust the bearing and then tighten uh, the nut up. Let's do that. Take out the center cap. 